But if you do get sick, try to stay home and just get better. There you go. That is the news at 5.30. CBS News Miami at 6 starts now. This is CBS News Miami. And now at 6, CBS News Miami is tracking Hurricane Helene. The storm is expected to continue gaining strength in the Gulf of Mexico as it inches closer and closer to Florida's Big Bend. At least 17 counties all along Florida's west coast are under mandatory evacuation orders from Sarasota to Panama City on the Panhandle. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency for 61 counties that are expected to become some of the hardest hit areas. Neither Miami-Dade nor Broward fall under this. Now, several schools, airports, and theme parks are being impacted by the storm, including those along Florida's Keys, the West Coast, the Big Bend region, and throughout Central Florida. Some have announced closures starting as early as today and into the weekend. Meanwhile, Florida Power and Light says it has thousands of workers standing by for restoration efforts in the event of power outages all across the state. Good evening, everyone. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Thanks again for joining us. CBS News Miami has live team coverage tonight from Key West up to Tallahassee. We are taking a look at how the storm is impacting the Sunshine State and how Floridians are preparing. All right, first of all, let's head over to Next Weather Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Cabrera, who has the latest track on the storm, which is just getting bigger and stronger, Ivan. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we just want to uh, update you on what we had just a few minutes ago, which was that tornado warning across portions of the lower keys. These are fast fast moving storm. Uh, another look at Hurricane Helene as she inches closer to Florida's Big Bend. Stay with CBS News Miami for the latest storm updates. We'll be back at 7. Tonight, Hurricane Helene intensifies, now forecast to potentially hit Florida as a powerful Category 4 storm.